switch. At first glance, the Polaris slingshot seems ridiculous, a biomechanical mutant cross between a motorcycle and some sort of giant go-kart, a wheeled swamp creature halfway between fish and fauna slithering out of the primordial ooze to spawn a new entry in the vehicular gene pool it has three wheels, like the vestigial fins feet of the first walking fish mammal it is neither fish nor fowl, to mix a metaphor, but carries some of the benefits and drawbacks of each. My first drive in it, a simple errand in town, was accomplished in blazing summer heat wave death sun, which was an experience not unlike being a piece of bacon in a frying pan coming out of the air-conditioned store and back to the slingshot's parking place in the oven frying solar blast that superheated the black vinyl-like seats to what I estimated was about 8,000 degrees, my co-pilot's first words were, oh darn, no one stole it. Slingshot seats too, no more and don't expect a lot of conversations so maybe not a good vehicle for a date. Or maybe it is? But after taking the slingshot out in its natural, intended habitat, which does not include running errands around town, I got a better feel for it it's meant to be leaned on, pushed, to get that 305 width rear tire to slide around a little, the latter task harder than you'd think in this circumstance it's more fun but the most surprising thought that kept occurring during my 4 days drive was that it is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be.